Tiger Woods is supposedly organizing some sort of rally or protest or meeting. I don't really know what exactly it is um, with other players on the PGA Tour um, to rally against the Live Tour and everything that they're doing. According to an anonymous source, this comes out of ESPN, uh, it's a meeting to get the top 20 players in the world on the same page on how they can continue to make the PGA Tour the best product in professional golf. So if you haven't heard this news about, excuse me, the Live Tour, uh, basically um, this is a new golf organization that is backed by the wealthiest folks in Saudi Arabia. I think there's some money coming in from other places, but that's really where most of the money is coming from. And they're just throwing it at some of the best golfers in the PGA. Phil Mickelson, um, uh, Bryson DeChambeau, Brooks Kepka, Dustin Johnson, Sergio Garcia, um, uh, Charles Schwartzel, Lee Westwood, a whole bunch of big names just jumping ship over to the Live Tour. Um, this Saudi-backed uh, golf organization that is, uh, you know, having most of their events in the United States, although I, I believe they have events um, in other places. And they don't even have a TV deal at the moment. Uh, you know, I think you can only watch their events. They're, they're ongoing right now. Um, I believe they're on YouTube if you want to check them out. Uh, but they're just trying to pick away players from the tour, and the PGA is having trouble competing. Uh, apparently, Tiger Woods was offered somewhere around $800 million to join the Live Tour, which he turned down, um, to his credit, I guess. Uh, he's worth about a billion dollars, maybe a little bit more than that. Um, so clearly money is not Tiger's motivation. That said, if you're worth a billion dollars, you know a lot of that's tied into assets, other investments. Uh, he doesn't exactly have that cash on hand, so being able to extend his net worth or almost double it by adding $800 million. Uh, clearly money is not the motivation there. Uh, I don't know what is. Um, in the long run, I think this may end up being good for Tiger Woods because with the PGA Tour being watered down so much with all these other big names going to the Live Tour, he has a much better shot at winning some more majors. I think at this point in his life, at his age, I'm not sure he's going to catch um, Jack Nicklaus, but, you know, we'll see. Um, I don't know what the PGA is going to do. I don't know what's going to come out of this meeting with these players, um, the top 20 players in the world, top 20 players in the PGA, not the ones that are on the Live Tour. Um, the PGA really kind of doesn't have a lot of options here. Um, you know, and maybe they can offer more prize money to golfers pay them more directly, but they can't really compete with the Live Tour other than on their brand name. And I don't exactly think the PGA Tour is ultimately going to dissolve because of this, but when you have the Live Tour having an endless supply of money, they're getting all this buzz, they're bringing in all this talent, you know, bringing in Phil Mickelson's a big deal, and if had they gotten Tiger, um, that really probably would have killed the PGA. So it, it's a big deal. Tiger's basically saving the PGA Tour here because, you know, once the Live Tour gets a, a TV deal with all the money and all the, the ad revenue that they can, or, uh, that they can uh, make and all the, the ad spending that they can throw at, um, you know, whomever they uh, get a TV deal with and other stations as well, um, it's going to be a huge draw. Um, and at the end of the day, it's not going to be the PGA with all their lawsuits putting pressure on the Live Tour. It's going to be the Live Tour putting pressure on the PGA. And I think at some point we may have to see, I wouldn't exactly say a merger, but some sort of partnership similar to, excuse me again, similar to what the uh, uh, PGA has had to do with Augusta National um, and partnering with the Masters and with the, uh, uh, the British Open, which are not PGA events, I think we're going to have to see something along those lines with the Live Tour. Uh, PGA is going to have to figure out a way to incorporate them or else, you know, we're talking, you know, three, five, maybe ten years down the road. What are things going to look like? Are all of these other great golfers going to jump ship? You know, the moment you get a, a young star who wins the Masters, the Live Tour is going to say, hey, we're going to throw $200 million at him. And for a 22-year-old, they're going to go, well, yeah, I mean, 
<laughs> of course, I'll take it. I, I've enjoyed watching the FedEx Cup and the Masters all my life, but I mean, this is the, it would take a lifetime of golf for me to even come close to this amount of money, and that's assuming I am at the top of my game forever. I'm just going to take this, and I'll be set for, you know, not just the rest of my life. I can actually have multi-generational wealth. So the PGA is going to have to have, they're going to have to do something about this. And um, I'm really not sure what this Tiger Woods meeting is going to do um, to, to support their cause. Uh, so let me know what you think in the comments below. I know, you know, there's a lot, lot of controversy with dirty money coming out of Saudi Arabia. That said, the same people saying that are going to be watching the FIFA World Cup. And again, look at how those stadiums were built in Qatar. It is not pretty. It is not a good thing. So nothing's clean, especially in today's day and age. Um, so, you know, that's why I'm a little bit hesitant to be too critical about the Live Tour, but I totally understand um, why people think it's controversial.